to show you one of my childhood gu guilty pleasures that my mom used to make for me when I was a kid. And this is super easy. And if you're a parent or you just want to try it, it's going to absolutely change your way of munching. So first, you're just going to get some pepperoni and you're going to lay it down on a stove top or a pan just like this. And what we're making today is, if you guessed it, uh, a pizza quesadilla. So you're just gonna get some mozzarella cheese and you're just gonna toss it onto the pepperoni. As you can see, we're just gonna toss some mozzarella, shredded mozzarella, and you're just gonna toss it in. And as you can see guys, I'm using no oil because it's not needed because you had the pepperoni and you had the cheese and when they melt, as you can see, they're melting right now they're going to be 100% fine. Okay, so that's melting. The oil from the pepperoni and the cheese melt down into the skillet, so it makes it everything very nice. Now we're gonna go with seasoning. Red chili flakes. And this is super easy, and you probably have these household ingredients. And as you know, groceries are getting super expensive, so I get everything in bulk. And this is super quick and super fast, and your kids will absolutely love you. Pizza these days costs so much money, but you can make this at home, and it's going to absolutely blow your kid's mind, your husband's mind, and it's very quick. Have your kids make them with you. And you can use any toppings you want. I'm just going for the traditional way I ate it as a kid, but you can use any toppings you want. As you can see, the cheese is finally binded to it, and you're just going to get any type of case or tortillas you have. I have some regular tortillas, and you're just gonna toss it on top. As you can see it, you see me right here? And you're just gonna press down, and if you're fancy, fancy person, you can have this meat presser thingy I got from the store, it's like five bucks. And you can press it and spread everything out. It's okay if things ooze out. If you see all that grease, it's nothing wrong with that. Okay, that's the natural fats from the pepperoni and the mozzarella cheese coming out and cooking out. And that's good. Now we're not even adding oil to this. We're just using the natural oils already in the pepperoni, in the mozzarella cheese. As you can see, I seasoned. Now you're gonna press everything together. Perfect. As you can see, there's so much oil. And if you don't like the oil, right, then you can just get a paper towel like this to make it less greasy, okay? Just less greasy. And this is why I like using a skillet, but if you have a pan, use a pan. But we're gonna use this oil a little bit for to uh, toast up the bottom side of this quesadilla in a few seconds. We're gonna let that get crispy though. And we're gonna get back to you when that gets crispy. I just press it down like this, so it gets really nice and cooking. In this case, really sizzling to do, but moms, if you can do it and you wanna show off, you know, just use your hands to uh, flip these bad boys. But get your spatula and you're just gonna flip it. As you can see, everything's getting cheesy and nice. Right here, one more time, one more flip. Boom, look at that beautiful color. That is what you want. Now, see, now you see these natural oils coming out. Spread your tortilla onto them. And that's what you want. Perfect, so the bottom gets nice and toasty. Perfect. Now, what we're gonna do and what's the best part of a quesadilla is to the cheesy part, the inside is nice and ooey and gooey. So we crisp up the pepperoni, right? We wanna crisp up the pepperoni and now we want to add that ooey gooey part. We crisp up some cheese, crisp up some pepperoni and perfect. You just gotta add some more cheese into the center of one of one, okay? Now, let me show you, if you don't like grease, this is what you do, this is a cool hack I learned, and all you need to do is get a paper towel right here, get a press, and press that natural flavor out. But if you, you know, you wanna cut back on the grease and you know you have acne or something, then just get a paper towel like this and soak up all that extra grease because you don't need it anymore, but if you like it, you keep it. No one's judging you. So you see, it's gonna stick a little bit, it's okay. Bam. Now, as you can see, look at all this grease, extra grease I took out. We're not gonna need that anymore. Now, and this is the important part. Trust me, do not miss, okay, everybody? I'm gonna get this part, 
we're gonna let that toast down a little bit more and down you're just gonna add some dollops of marinara sauce into the center if you don't like your quesadillas too saucy in the center then put this on the side you don't need to top it right now just like this i like it in the center because it's nice it warms it up it makes it a little bit thicker it's gonna get a nice fusion of everything going perfect any meats work this is super fast super easy and very enjoyable for all your family i used this some marinara sauce from this can from a jar actually and you're gonna let that cook down and get nice and toasty as you can see nice and toasty flip that bad boy on perfect get your press and press it okay you want everything to kind of be even Ooh little sizzle going on that's what you want and pressing this on perfect now as you can see i'm just gonna flip it beautiful now we're gonna see that toast for a little bit more and get really nice and melty now i'm gonna show you guys how to plate this bad boy and there you have it. Look at that. Let me show you guys how to plate it. Top these bad boys with some Parmesan cheese. Make sure you want to load those bad boys up. But look at this. These are pizza quesadillas. So cheesy and yummy in the center.